What's up Guardians? Profane here. Thanks for checking out the video. Today I'm going to help you guys out with the quickest and most efficient ways to level up your season pass. I'm not going to include the various glitches and bugs that will likely be patched and can't properly be included as long lasting efficient means of XP farming. I've actually covered most of those in previous videos already which you by all means should check out after watching this video. But this is going to be the most efficient way for you to be able to level up your season pass throughout season of arrivals which is season 11. Leveling up your season pass is going to require a lot of time and XP and thankfully there are quite a lot of things that give you XP. You receive a very small amount of XP every time you defeat an opponent. You get a larger amount for XP uh, when you complete any game mode activity. The more difficult the mode, the more XP you receive. Completing bounties reward a good chunk of XP as well. And with so many NPCs in the game offering bounties, Destiny has really become a game driven on bounties. Bounties are where you will receive the largest chunks of your Bright Dust, your Glimmer, Legendary Shards, Planetary Materials, and XP. Knowing what bounties to get is essential in acquiring the rewards that you want. Weekly, daily, and repeatable bounties all reward different items. If your primary focus is towards XP, then daily bounties through Eris Morn, Drifter, Zavala, Banshee, Shax, and the Recaster should be what you're buying. These do cost more Glimmer, however, but they can all be completed extremely quickly, allowing you to acquire more and more bounties throughout your day. That way you can earn additional XP. Each daily bounty is different, but most all of them require you to get kills with certain weapon types while in certain activities. Now with contact being the seasonal activity and a main focus of the season, you will find many other guardians completing these events as well. So getting the recaster repeatable bounties along with the completions of these contact events will be an excellent strategy towards earning XP quickly throughout season 11. Completing bounties isn't going to be enough on its own to quickly get you through that season pass and unlock all those juicy rewards. The first thing you want to do to increase your XP gain is to equip a ghost which offers guiding light. This perk grants a 10% bonus on all XP gains which is extremely beneficial. If you don't have one yet, some alternate options are ghosts that offer increased XP when completing strikes, crucible or gambit and remembering to trade those out between activities. Now as you unlock levels of the season pass you will gain bonus XP and progress towards your seasonal exotic weapon quests. Clan rewards are an overlooked commodity in the game. Not only does Hawthorne offer bounties that reward a significant amount of XP for completing, but by being in an active clan, you are able to continuously earn rewards and clan rank ups that will aid you in your XP and reward gains throughout the season. Ranking up in Valor, Glory, and Infamy all reward you with a large amount of XP, and with the Survival Playlist, Rewarding Guardians with both Valor and Glory at the end of each completion, playing survival matches is one of the best ways to earn XP and rewards throughout the season. Now of course at a certain point this is going to mean that you will need to play some stressful matches against some asshole wielding the Jotun and it's going to piss you off. But guys I'm telling you, the comp playlist is extremely beneficial in getting XP. It has its own solo queue option, its matchmaking is still based on your current ranking, and if you're sitting there saying you just aren't good at PvP, this is the practice you need to improve those skills. The final tip that I'll add in to today's video to improve your XP gains will be completing activities and cashing in bounties while you are in a fire team. I understand that many out there prefer to play solo or that sometimes you just want to play alone, but by completing activities and fire teams, you are able to gain the benefit of fire team XP boosts. Now these are offered throughout the season pass, so not only will you get the benefits of additional XP while being in a fire team, but completing activities and fire teams offer other benefits too, like the ability to be more efficient at speedrunning strikes and nightfalls, or for more communication in PvP or Gambit. 
Ultimately, these are going to result you in greater XP gains as you'll be more efficient and more likely to win and succeed in those matches. Now, Destiny is better with friends after all. That's going to wrap things up for today's video though. If you've got any additional tips and tricks for everyone, then be sure to leave those in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button below, and if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button as well. Be sure before you leave the video to check out my description below where you can find a couple of different links for you guys that are worth your time, including a link to my Discord where you can join in the Profane Nation. Until next time though, this has been Profane and I wish you guys some happy hunting.